$275,000. That's the price for 1,000 hours of a Tiffany Silversmith's time. The item, a greenhouse in solid sterling silver. Only Tiffany can make pieces this beautiful, this spectacular, with this level of craft. The table centerpiece is the star item on the recently renovated fourth floor of Tiffany's flagship Fifth Avenue store. A $250 million makeover of the building's nine other floors begins spring of next year. The man tasked with leading the revamp is Richard Moore, Tiffany's creative director for store design. So it's such an important store from a, from a, uh, a sort of brand perspective. You know, it represents just less than 10% of our sales um, globally, but we really more importantly than that is it's the icon of the brand. It's been here, you know, since the 1940s. Um, it's really ingrained in people's popular culture perception of, of the brand, um, and we use it as sort of the launch pad um, for many activities that we do across the world. We sort of, they start here and, and then work their way out. Moore led the fourth floor renovation project, including the installation of the store's first restaurant, the Blue Box Cafe. Suffused in Tiffany Robin's Egg Blue, it's been wildly successful, both in terms of generating footfall and social media hype. My job is to create experiences for clients, and a big part of what people enjoy doing is Instagramming spaces. And so to create something that helps draw traffic to the store is, a, is, a, is a one part of the assignment, but it's also to create that amazing environment. This idea of sitting within a blue box, this idea of, of being entertained by Tiffany um, and being able to have breakfast at Tiffany or an afternoon tea is, is hugely important for our clients. CEO Alessandro Bogliolo took the helm last year and along with design chief Reed Krakoff, they've been quick to overhaul the 181-year-old jeweller. As well as the facelift at the flagship, they've debuted new product lines, revitalised existing ones, refreshed Tiffany's advertising and launched a perfume, the first Tiffany product to be sold outside a Tiffany store or website. The aim to woo a younger customer and remind the older ones why they always enjoyed shopping at Tiffany. It's certainly paying off. Comparative sales in the first quarter grew 7% and Tiffany's stock is among the top luxury performers globally this year. There's certainly an expectation in the stock. Maybe some people are worried, given the elevated investment, that there might be some deleverage depending on where same-store sales trade. The reality is there's so much great change and opportunity happening in the company with the new management team, CEO, board of directors, digital marketing, product innovation, the design workshop, the Tiffany Cafe. Uh, really, this company is transforming the way it activates its brand and engages with consumers. You know, I think that will be very rewarding to shareholders. Investors, too, will be looking for continued innovation for proof Tiffany's new sparkle is here to stay. So it's fair to say there's more to come. There's definitely more to come. <laughs> there always is. This is retail, right? Emma Chandra for Bloomberg News.